Can vitamin deficiencies get in the way of building your dream body? As you drive or walk home from the gym, growth and repair of muscle tissue occurs on a cellular level. These processes depend on various minerals and vitamins, among other things. Although the latter are usually present in a balanced diet, many athletes find that the lack of certain substances leads to poorer performance. In this video we will tell you about 5 best vitamins for muscle growth and recovery, as well as which foods contain the most of them, so watch to the end, it will be informative. Vitamin A is undeservedly neglected in the sports nutrition industry. It is well known for its beneficial effects on eye health, but its many other effects are often overlooked. Vitamin A is good for athletes because it supports muscle protein synthesis and thus muscle growth. Levels of this substance in the body decrease as protein synthesis increases. This is because it is used in the breakdown of protein during muscle tissue repair. If these words do not impress you, you may be convinced by the fact that vitamin A has a direct effect on testosterone, the most powerful anabolic hormone. In a study of 102 adolescents suffering from delayed puberty, vitamin A and iron showed the same positive effect as hormone therapy, oxandrolone and testosterone. This suggests that vitamin A deficiency can negatively affect testosterone production in men of all ages. Finally, vitamin A plays an important role in ensuring the strength of the musculoskeletal system by promoting bone development and the maturation of young cells. Foods contain the most vitamin A are fish oil, from cod liver, black caviar, red caviar, beef liver, egg yolk, chicken and quail eggs, butter and hard cheese, carrots, bell peppers, asparagus, broccoli, celery, parsley, dill, spinach, sorrel, cilantro, green onions, leeks, basil, dried apricots, apricots, plums, rowan, dried unpitted apricot, rose hips, sea buckthorn. Vitamin D, calciferol, is important for muscle growth and recovery. Calciferol is unique in that the body needs exposure to direct sunlight to stimulate its production. Of course, we've all heard that vitamin D is important in preventing diseases such as softening of the bones in adults and rickets in children, and that many people suffer from a lack of it. But how can it affect muscle growth and recovery? You may be surprised, but vitamin D is the most important of all vitamins when it comes to testosterone production. Some studies have shown that taking supplements with this vitamin compared to taking a placebo significantly increases explosive strength in adults after 12 weeks of strength training. Vitamin D also plays a key role in protein synthesis, which is due in part to its effect on testosterone production. According to studies, vitamin D supplements lead to a 20% increase in testosterone in men with low levels of this anabolic hormone. In addition, calciferol is important for bone health. Working in conjunction with magnesium and calcium, it supports bone development. A list of foods high in vitamin D, fish oil, cod liver, pink salmon and other oily fish, black caviar, egg yolk, goat milk, butter, hard cheeses. Vitamin C is one of the most popular vitamins on the planet. Everyone has ever had a cold, and the doctor advised eating ascorbic acid. But is this vitamin useful for muscle growth and recovery? First, ascorbic acid is a strong antioxidant that helps protect muscle cells from the damaging effects of free radicals. Second, it helps the body in the synthesis of testosterone and other anabolic hormones. Third, vitamin C promotes the formation of collagen, a protein that is the main component of connective tissue. Collagen increases joint stability, so you can lift heavier weights with less risk of injury. Finally, Researchers at the University of North Carolina found that taking vitamin C before and after exercise reduces muscle soreness and prevents oxidation of glutathione, a very powerful antioxidant. This is very important because delayed muscle soreness syndrome, crepitoria, is not a pleasant sensation, and ascorbic acid reduces it at the cellular level. Foods high in vitamin C, rosehip, buckthorn, sweet pepper, black currant, kiwi, dried white mushrooms, punch, brussels sprouts, dill, broccoli cabbage, cauliflower. Vitamin E is used for a variety of purposes. Many people know it only as a remedy for stretch marks and other skin imperfections. There is good news for athletes as well. Vitamin E is a very powerful antioxidant that helps protect cell integrity. 
Intense training produces free radicals in the body, which are toxic byproducts of cellular respiration. The accumulation of these particles in the body causes impaired performance, muscle growth, recovery and immunity. Vitamin E acts on free radicals and flushes them out of the body. The end result is reduced oxidative stress and reduced muscle damage. In addition, vitamin E is being studied as a natural preventive and treatment for carotid artery atherosclerosis, narrowing of the arteries due to oxidative stress. Thus, vitamin E can support muscle growth and accelerate recovery due to its positive effect on blood pressure. This allows more nutrients in the blood to reach the working muscles. Foods rich in vitamin E, vegetable oil, almonds, pine nuts, broccoli, mangoes, sunflower seeds, avocado, peanut butter, Atlantic salmon, sweet bell pepper. B vitamins, B6, folic acid, and B12. Vitamins B6, pyridoxine, B9, folic acid, and B12 are probably the most important B vitamins when it comes to muscle growth and recovery from exercise. B6 and B12 are directly involved in protein metabolism. Scientists say that the higher the protein intake, the more vitamin B6 is required for its processing in the body. Another interesting fact is that pyridoxine is necessary for the normal absorption of vitamin B12. Together, these substances are used in the production of red blood cells and immune system cells, which are simply invaluable for muscle growth and repair. Taking folic acid in combination with vitamins B6 and B12 can reduce homocysteine levels, a risk factor for atherosclerosis, and improve nitric oxide production and cardiovascular function. As a result, the body improves blood flow and the supply of nutrients to working muscles. Foods contain the most vitamin B are salmon, trout, liver, beef, spinach and other leafy greens, pork, chicken eggs. And what vitamins do you include in your diet, maybe take something extra? Share with us in the comments. Friends, we recommend you watch another one of our videos, in which we talked about what happens to your body if you jump rope every day, it will appear on your screen, and there will be a link to it in the description and attached comments. Thanks for watching this video to the end. We hope it was interesting. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel, there will be a lot of useful information. See you soon.